Did you know that one of the main ways parents search for a nanny is online? But with thousands of nannies using job boards and social media sites, it is hard to get noticed. That is why today we're going to help you create and maintain a professional online presence that will help catch parents' attention. First thing to consider when thinking about your social media presence is how much you want parents to see. Just like with any other job industry, your potential employers are looking at how you present yourself online and will make a judgment accordingly. This doesn't mean that you have to stop posting photos of your nights out, but if you do, make sure that your privacy settings only allow your friends to see what you post. On Facebook, select the drop-down menu at the top or bottom right of the page, depending on the mobile device you're using, then scroll down to settings and privacy. From there, select privacy shortcuts and select the option to review a few important privacy settings. This will allow you to change what information and which of your posts are visible and to whom. People like to put a face to a name, especially online, where you might not often know who you're talking to at first. A profile picture acts as a first impression and is visible to everyone, even if you change your privacy settings, so having a right one is essential. You can see in this example that this nanny looks more child-friendly and therefore more appealing to parents. The language you use online is just as important as the photos you post. It may sound obvious, but avoid using inappropriate language or getting into arguments in comment section. And remember, anything you post in groups, such as on Facebook, is visible to every member of that group, even if you change your privacy settings. And as we mentioned before, parents are looking for nannies online, so it is likely that they will be members of the same group as you are. Just like with your traditional CV, it is important to keep your online profile updated. Make sure you regularly update your job requirements, career history and qualifications as soon as any of these change. Doing so will help ensure that parents who have the same requirements will get in contact. A profile that is up to date also looks better to parents, meaning that they will be more likely to contact you. Posting photos of children you've looked after is a sensitive topic. Even if you had a great relationship with a family, always ask permission first. If they give you the permission, it's always a good idea to mention that when sharing the photo. If you don't, other parents may be worried about the privacy of their own children if they were to hire you. The top five things you should take from this video are to review and update your privacy settings so that only your friends can see what you post, choose a profile picture that is professional and child-friendly, don't use inappropriate language or get into arguments online, regularly update your online profile so that parents are more likely to contact you, and don't post photos of children without permission from parents.